Good evening and welcome to the Simply Colorful Fibercast. Today's date is March 25th, 2016. My name is Lynn Marquardt and I'm your host and I'm sorry I'm late. Tom got away from me. I was dreaming and I was in Dear Jane land. So welcome and happy Friday everyone. I'm glad you could join me. Thanks for joining. Fibercast is just all about all of us getting our projects together and playing for the next 60 minutes and tonight is just like other Fridays. I have pulled out an old project. As everyone might remember, we're doing our UFOs this year, and this is one of my UFOs, is to work on my Dear Jane quilt. It is a beach-themed quilt, and I took an inventory. These are all, oh, who's out there? These are all of the squares that I have. Oh, hi, Chris Myers. Oh, and hygiene, technical difficulties, you're not on. It's because I completely lost track of time. The truth is, well, I mean, it always is the truth, but what happened, what got me off schedule was I was downstairs laughing with Bob and the rest of his band members. They were talking about when they were in high school and the talent competitions, and it turns out that Bob and one of the guys in the band who plays the guitar lost to my, who is now my sister-in-law, Katie. So Carol, if you're out there, we're going to hear about this on Easter Sunday. They lost to her baton twirling. And they, 40 years later, are lamenting how that still stings that they, the band lost to a baton twirler. And I say, go girl power. So they were making me laugh. And so I was late. So I came up here, and now I have my Dear Jane blocks up, and I did a quick inventory. <coughs> Excuse me. I use the Dear Jane software and I print out the software, the, the template. The yellow is what I have. All of the other squares still have to be done. So I cannot believe it and things are dinging. You guys are out there. I'm thrilled. Ah, uh, Jean says all better. Thanks, Jean. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh my goodness. So. I have a lot of catching up to do, and in fact, I might even try and do two a week all summer long, and if I did that, I might make some good headway. I'm doing it a beach theme, just like I did my scrappity doodah quilt. In fact, I'm using a lot of the same fabrics, and I pulled out some squares from my zippity doodah quilt that are beachy, yet um, have some green in them. So they're beachy with with some, um, I don't know, rose hips in them or something. So I did discover also that I had a few blocks that I haven't labeled. So we need to do that at some point during this next hour. So I have this block, which is really quite pretty. Some of you may know these blocks off the, the top of your head. Here's another block that I don't know where it is, but I'll find it, and then this is another one. So I thought maybe halfway through we'll find those in the book and we will label them. Oh, and here's one that's half done. This is D8 DD's Delight that I did on 6515. So less than a year ago. I must have worked on that. So those are there. What I thought I would do first, and hopefully we can get through two like we did last year, last week, but we'll see. And I know you can't see that. I'm sorry. It's the F1 Big Top paper piece. And let me pull it out so you can see it. I'm curious how many of you out there are doing Dear Jane, and how many are doing the Splendid Sampler. I am loving watching that. If I didn't have Dear Jane going, I'd definitely be doing it. But I am on a quest to finish up my quilting projects and maybe spend some more time on my dolls come the fall. But we'll see. Okay, F2, F3. Okay, here we go. So this is F1. Hopefully you can see that. This is what it looks like, the outline. That's what we're going to make tonight. F1 Big Top. So I'll leave that open for when we document. 
And I thought I would do it in, most of it's white. You know what, maybe I'll do it opposite. Maybe I'll do the little bit of white. <laughs> and I'll do the background in this dark. Hmm. Or, or I have some strips here. Ooh, that would be pretty. Now you guys are going to catch me in a very indecisive mode. All right, nope, we're going to stick with green because it's going to be very... Ooh, what's this, though? Ha! Ah, squirrel. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, we don't have enough of that. So we're going to stick to the green and the white. How many of you do that? I just, but you know, that's probably the fun. I should not focus so much on completing the unit, but enjoying the process of finding the color, right? I took a three-mile walk late this afternoon. That's another reason why I'm a little bit late. My neighbor came, knocked on the door as I was finishing up work, and she and one of her friends, Lucille, invited me to walk around our loop, so I decided that would be good. I'd been trying to get some exercise. Remember a few weeks ago, Bob went and got some hardwood flooring upstairs, as you know, or maybe you, you may know or you may not know. Here at the Simply Colorful Studio, we, we still have the construction carpeting that we put in when we first moved in. So it's been 10 years now. And we're going to eventually, either this winter or next winter, put heating and hardwood flooring. So Bob, of course, makes it a sport, thank goodness, because it saves us a lot of money. But he looks for hardwood flooring lots on Craigslist. And he found a wonderful lot from someone up in New Hampshire and he's already been up and retrieved it and it's all in our dining room so I have been using that as exercise I've been bringing bundles of it upstairs so that was going to be my exercise today but I did both so I'm just literally two three, four corners Sometimes, as you know, when we're together, I will have already done this cutting. But I, another thing I did not get done. Oh, so glad it's Friday. And, and happy um, Good Friday. It's not only Friday, it's Good Friday. We're going over to Steve and Jean's for brunch. Okay, I'm cutting these all apart. I basically have two, four, I have to make eight of these units with two pieces, and they'll be triangles. And now I literally... I use so much fabric on this project. So now I'm cutting out eight pieces of the white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then we'll do the four corners. Well, I guess I could do that now, couldn't I? Do that. I'm just going to cut a big square. And then literally <laughs> cut. 
cut it into triangles like that and like this. See, four triangles for the corners, and those should be big enough. Okay, so now we just have to motor. Reduce the size of the stitch down to just under three. <coughs> Remember that I put the right sides together on the back. This should go together very quickly since it's literally one, one seam for each of these triangles. I'm going to piece this in flags. And I know I say this every week, but it takes time just to get the, the rhythm down. But once you do it, it's fine. was relatively easy. Oh, so as always here on Fibercast, I love to see what everyone's working on, as do the other Fibercasters. So send me an email with what you're working on if you want, and we'll do a shout out to you wherever you are. We have folks all over the world. And and I have to tell you, you all, you teach me something every week. But one of the latest things that I was glad to know, Bob has a customer. Bob builds houses and he also um, sells real estate. And he has a customer who is moving here from Australia. And he was asking me last night, he got a message, he said, what time is it in Australia? And I knew that at least it was, so that was last night at about 8. And I said, well, it's the next day at about 8, but it depends where in Australia. And I was so excited that I knew I had a feeling, or I knew ballpark when that was. That's it. So it's been delightful to be home all week. I am about done with the quilt that's going to go on our bed, the Scrappity Doodah quilt. I will be delivering that either to whomever, whomever wants to machine quilt it or has time to either Christine or Kelsey by Sunday is my goal. I just am looking for an all over quilt pattern. And, and I'm liking it. I can't wait to show everyone when it's all done. Of course, it will be long after that seven-day online quilt challenge that I was invited to. Thank you, Jean. In fact, I have to go find an old quilt to post. I've been hesitant, or I've been dragging my feet because I'm trying to find pictures of old quilts that people haven't seen yet. I don't know if everyone out there, if you're familiar with this, it's called the seven day quilt online quilt challenge. And you're just challenged by your friends to, for the next seven days, show your quilts, pictures of your quilts. And then you nominate someone every day to join the fun. And it is really fun to see what your friends have worked on over the years. I have to say that I had forgotten some things and I've seen quilts already that I had never seen. So it is a fun thing. Okay, so I don't have even too much trimming on these. 
I literally, let me see if I can back up here a little bit. After I cut these out, I'll see who's out there. I don't know if I've said it yet. My email is still lmarquedant at gmail.com. And Carol Ritter, if you're out there, yes, I have been getting your emails. I owe you a return email. Thank you. In fact, I'll hopefully go find what you've sent and share it. So I'm literally just ironing the seam that I just did, the eight of them. Oh, you know, we might just get two of these done tonight. Can you believe I've only done four of the triangles? Yikes! Okay, so there we have eight of them, and now literally, I put on a new blade so that it would be easy to cut this sitting down. I highly recommend cutting using new blades and and new needles too, right? All right, so there's one. Just makes a world of difference. And even though I'm not rotating this mat, KB, I love this mat. I talked to KB on the telephone tonight. I called her after my walk, and she was in her new studio that, for those of you who may not have seen a picture, is beautifully painted, a very light pink, and she's enjoying it. And literally, I called her, and I came up, she said, on the Bluetooth in her studio. So I didn't even, she didn't have to pick up, she could keep sewing, hands-free. Uh, that was pretty cool. Two. What do you think it is about the repetition of quilting that is, do you like it? Why do we keep doing it? I, for me, <laughs> it's probably like hitting your head. <laughs> this is going to sound so negative, which is just so me, but I'm trying not to be negative. But it's like hitting your head against the wall. It feels good when you stop. <laughs> I really like seeing everything in its neat place when it's done. So it's got to be some sort of OCDC thing. ACDC is a band, right? But I've often wondered that. Or it could just be we like the colors. We like the designs. I love the designs. What did we do before we had Pinterest and the online stuff to look at at night? I think I read a few more books. I watched more boring TV. Four. With a new blade, you can almost just chop this. I love it. We've had a lot of new people join the YouTube channel. We're almost up to, I think, 1,400. Uh-oh. Oh, Deb. And team, can you hear the audio? Huh. Okay. Oh. Well, let me see. KB just sent a note. Maybe I was talking down too low and it turned off the audio. 
Deb, I hope you can hear me now. I'm glad you're out there. Hi. And I'm glad you discovered the quilters, um, the Henniker quilting store, quilted threads. Isn't that fun? Oh, so Karen Marinelli. Ooh. Let's see who's out there. All right. KB says audio is good. Okay. Deb Linehan, write me back if you can hear me again. I hope you can. Oh, my goodness. Karen is working on a UFO from the Missouri Star Quilt Company retreat. It's one of Jenny's newer tutorials called Double Square Star. Oh, I love it. It's very light. So I'm, I hope it shows up here okay. Oh, I remember that, KB. I like that. Very nice. Oh, and I love your design wall. Way to go. Oh, I may have to make a road trip out there so I can sew with you. Okay. Oh, Deb. Deb reports this week's projects. She said, just need to sew on the three buttons for my granddaughter, Emerson. Oh, like your mother, your knitting is beautiful. Look at that. Is that for Easter, maybe? Oh, Deb, I love it. Beautiful. And then... And handmade napkins for the Easter hostess gift. You made those? Oh, and look at you. Oh, Deb. Can everyone see that? Look at the nice touch with the ribbon and the nice card. Deb, love that. And it's such a modern fabric. The gink is it ginkgo leaves? Those are beautiful. Love those. What a good idea. We're going over to Jean and Steve's on Sunday. I wonder if I could. Ah, oh, she says she has audio. I'm glad. I wonder if I can make some of those napkins by then. Chris Meyer says, hello. I see you looking forward to our shop visit tomorrow. Me too. Me too. 9 a.m. I'll be at your house. Uh, we're going to check out some shops. I think a new one in Rhode Island that I've never been to. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh, let's see. Who else is out there? Let me check that Gmail. <laughs> Maureen in Pennsylvania. I love that. Maureen says, before Pinterest, my house was slightly cleaner. Isn't that the truth? Do you remember back when we went to college or when you went off maybe for the first couple of years away from home or whatever, some transition? I remember the freshman 15 or freshman 10 or whatever it was, and you'd come home and you would have gained weight. Well, I swear there's an iPad 15 or a Pinterest 15 because not only does the house not get clean, but I don't move as much. I've got to be careful about that. Anyway, that's funny, Maureen. Virginia, hi. She says, quilt top is finished. Here's the top I finished at a mini retreat. It was only a two-day retreat, but so glad I got it done. It's a UFO, she says, that I started three years ago. Sorry, it's not that good of a picture. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, I love it. On point, too. That is not as easy as it looks. Can folks see that? And it looks big. Is it a queen, maybe? Queen? King. Congratulations. Hey, Norma. Hi, Norma. She says, I'm getting to watch tonight on the cell phone, thank goodness. She said, I did a fence block, a fence rail block for my mom's quilt book. And I like it, oh, from my mom's quilt book. And I like it so much, I now have four blocks done. Oh, good for you. I love the quilt you posted from the challenge. Can't wait to see some others you've done. Hope you and everyone have a nice weekend. Thanks, Norma. Are you doing the challenge? And if you aren't, do you want to? <laughs> you might be doing it already, though. 
See, now they all run together. That's the thing, too. Oh, I love, actually, Norma, I do remember the pictures that you of the quilt last night or the night before that is on the, is that a wagon out front? I love how you display them outside lately. Very nicely done. Hello, Gay McGee. Gay says, good evening. I'm a new quilter, and right now I'm working on Jenny Dome's half square triangles around the world. I've also taught crochet classes at our community college, but I would rather work with thread than yarn. I'm now disabled, so I thought I would have more time to quilt, but I'm my son's HR department from home, so I get to sew a few hours in the evening. She says, everyone out there have a safe and fun Easter weekend. Aw, oh, thank you. You too. You too, and I'm glad Jenny's half square triangles around the world. That sounds fun. All of her tutorials are wonderful. Wendy. Hi, Wendy. She says, hello, Lynn and all fiber casters, and happy Easter from Australia. Happy Saturday. She says, yay. I get to watch you live with my sister and daughter-in-law. Well, hello. I've been doing Dear Jane with my daughter, Crystal, and will send photos when I have done a few more. Of course. Crystal's written, too. Hope you get to something exciting for the weekend. I am just enjoying having my whole family around me and very grateful. Aw. She says, anyway, I will stop yapping and actually watch you sew, Dear Jane. Aw. Isn't that the best, Wendy? I'm glad you have family around you, and I'm sure they are enjoying it, too. All right, let's keep moving on this. Dear Jane, here we come. No, actually... Can you all hear the band downstairs? You can't, can you? I really, sometime soon I will get us down there. I know I've been talking about it. Okay, one more, and then we'll sew them all together. Mm -hmm. I hope the sun comes out for Easter. I think there might be rain though. Okay, so now, now what I literally have to do is Uh-oh, what do I have to do? Okay. So these are different. <laughs> it's like a puzzle. I can do a puzzle. There we go. 
you see how we're doing? It's called a big top. There we go. You see that? All right. So now I'm literally going to close my blade. And now I'm going to sew these together. Oh, this is nice. The seams nest. Very good. Oh, that's fun, Wendy, that you're working on Dear Jane, too. Who's working on the Splendid Sampler? KK in San Diego, are you doing that? I'd love to see what you come up with. If Dottie's out there, hi Dottie, thank you for inviting me to the SS Renegade Quilters Group. I'm thoroughly enjoying that. That is for like a splinter group from the Splendid Sampler. In a good way though. People who want to explore doing the Splendid Sampler sort of with their own twist. They have a group. All right, so we have now units. This is going to be quite the one to pull apart. There's a lot of seams here. There's one. But that's sure nice. Don't you love it when the seams nest? you got to love paper piecing. Watch, this one won't match. No, nope, it did. Oh, this one's not great. It's a little off. Okay. So now, put these back together. And now I'm going to do webbing. I'm going to web these puppies. Who's cooking for Easter? Like I said, we're going over to Jean's and she always has the best brunch food. And she makes a delicious egg bake where you put it in the dish with bread and with sausage. So now I'm not going to cut these. I'm webbing it together. See, it's webbed together. And now I'm just literally going to do it like that. Oops. Oh, what's going on there? Start over here. Still love this machine. I oiled her all up yesterday, I guess. Opened her up, cleaned her out. Whew! She's pretty dirty, though. Pipe cleaner, I've discovered, is a really good way to pull out lint. I saw, I don't know if it was Michelle Banton maybe, had suggested taking the tip of a pipe cleaner, or chenille stem, and putting it on a plastic stirrer, coffee stirrer. And I didn't have the plastic coffee stirrer, but I had the whole stem, so... I've been using this and I am liking it. 
Okay, anyway. Hopefully. Ooh, that's a lot of layers that I just went through. Gotta love these machines. What was that? Eight layers? Hey, hey! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers. Not bad. So, lots of fabric and seams on the back. What I'm going to do now is just. What am I going to do now? Oh, so the corners have applique on them when I'm done. I think what I'm going to do is simply iron these four very rough triangles that I did, that I cut out, and I'm going to clean up the long side of them. I'll show you what I mean. And then I'll see who's out there. I love that you guys are out there. Enjoying some Friday night relaxation. Whether you're cooking for Easter or traveling or watching a movie. Spring is here. I hope you get to take time to just enjoy it. Okay, so I've cleaned up the four four of those and I'm literally I hope I cut them big enough Now we'll iron it open. Okay, so it's ironed open. Now I literally am going to take the other two and then I'll square it up. Lots of threads around here. Okay, so I'm literally going to cut off the excess threads. And I bet that's what's happened. I don't want to spend the time taking the back paper off on Fibercast, so I'll probably wait to square this up and then I will label it. Mm 
that is we're far along on the F1 big top. Okay, so let's put that here for now. I'm going to throw those away. And let's see who else is out there and see if we can get started on our second one. Oh, and we also have to identify these too, don't we? Okay. First things first. On the F1 big top, today's date is 325.16. Made this one on Fibercast. We're going to be doing this a lot on Fibercast, I think, because I am jazzed now to get moving on it. Um, this fabric is from the 1990s from my stash. Used fabric from stash at least at least 25 years old. How could that be? Wow. Uh, it's Good Friday. Okay. And then what I do Oh, here's a tip. Carrie, if you're out there. Carrie Creswell. Several years ago at one of our retreats, you gave this to me. And I want to thank you. It's a scotch lint roller. And I used it tonight to take all of those extra strings off of my, my wall back here. And it worked great. Thank you. It was just perfect. So I don't know where my glue is right now. I went and got it last week. What I do is... I glue a piece of the fabric in the Dear Jane book near the block that I made. Okay, so that's that block. Now, which one? Oh, here it is. The second one I want to make tonight is I2 K's Courtyard. Okay, so let's pull that one up. This one looks pretty darn easy. That one. That we can do. We better be able to do. Okay. Here I have it paper pieced, and I might as well. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so there's that. And actually, this one might be better off. Isn't that wild? It's like Georgia O'Keeffe. Fabric. Hmm. I think it's too different though to use on this one. How about that one? No, nope. the the pattern's too big. I'm gonna go with that. Well, yeah, that'll work. And I have two of them. That will work just fine. Especially since it's already cut. Oh, we haven't even looked at what happened on this day in history, did we? Well, we know what happened. Um... Oh boy. I'm trying to think of. <laughs> it's a wonder. Why am I the one doing this? I always lose the words in my mouth. 
trying to think of when when is AD BC and AD happen today? That's all I'm going to say. Okay. There are those four pieces. Heck, that's why I cut up fabric and sew it back together, and I'm not a heart surgeon. So there. It's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay. Whew. Joyce will be proud of me. These are like one and one sixteenth of a width. So I'm going to do it paper piece style. fun just free forming it all right so I have all of that now I need white one Where did I put my white chunk of fabric oh, on the floor okay Wow, Deb Linehan, I'm proud of you. You've been so good and busy this week. One, two. I'm using so much fabric. Okay, we are good to go. See how I did that? All right, before I go any further though, let me check and see who else is out there. I wanna make sure I say hi to you. Linda! Here's what's under my needle, says Linda. She says, Lynn, I am so fortunate to have my childhood buddy here with me today. We hold a monthly craft day. She's a proficient crocheter and I quilt. And we are enjoying watching you as we work. Oh. She says, Linda says, I'm working on my Bally Wedding Star by Judy Namayer. Oh, which is glorious. And my friend Helen is crocheting a new pattern called Spring Blossoms. It's a beautiful day here in Southern California. I hope you and all of your fiber casters enjoy this weekend. Linda from her Quilt Haven. Well, I have to share this with everyone. So Linda is there. Here is the quilt. Isn't it fun? So you're having like a little sewing bee there. I love that. And look at what Helen is working on. Oh, oh that inspires me to pull out the hook too. Your childhood friend too. Wow. Well, enjoy each other's company. That's awesome. Beth. Hi, Beth. She says, Happy Easter to Lynn and the Fibercasters. She says, I finished my Sunny Skies top, top that I started in Missouri. Oh, I'm proud of you. You stuck to it. If you look closely to the right of that quilt is a blue Fibercasters t-shirt. That's the one Jenny Doan autographed. Oh, that's awesome. 
She says, I'm off to do a little Easter mischief for the granddaughter. Have a good show. Happy Easter, Beth. Oh, look at that. Thanks for sending that. Love it. Hi, Colleen. She says, hi to you. I'm once again out to dinner with my husband as you are broadcasting. She says, our restaurant doesn't open until 5. Our time, it's 8 your time, because Colleen is on the West Coast. So we are at our neighbor's bar next to the Thai restaurant. Lovely. That sounds fun. She says, happy Good Friday to you all. That sounds a bit weird, but since we know what Sunday brings, perhaps not overly weird. Exactly. Colleen from sunny California, where the weeds and flowers are tall and blooming. Ah. Uh, Nice to hear from you, Colleen. So good. I've met more friends here. Sue! Sue is working on Dear Jane. She's finished two more Dear Jane blocks this week. Family Reunion and Lakota Soy. Sue, I'm sorry, Lakota Sue. I hope you have a wonderful Easter. I'll be watching tonight to see the next Dear Jane block you work on. Tomorrow I plan to start on D1 Allison's Guiding Light. Oh, that's awesome, Sue. And I love how you label them. Sue literally is labeling the front of them. See how she has a piece of paper? So that one is C12. Oh, I love that. I love both of them, actually. And that's C13. Wow. Nicely done. I love the contrast on that one. Oh, excellent. Sue, you and I are going to finish this. I have a feeling. Carol. Hi. Carol asks me. So Carol, I am getting your emails. Hi. And I'm sorry if I owe you something or a reply. Carol asks, can I ask how many go dies do you have? I'm thinking about getting one because they are so cheap now. Thanks, Carol. Ooh, that's good. It's an AccuQuilt question. I have probably 10. I love it when I'm using it. Uh, it's excellent for hexi dies, for triangles. For me, if I'm working with little triangles, I love to use the little triangles. Um, I have the strips. I haven't had great luck getting them cut really straight. But I don't have the big studio AccuQuilt. I just have the smaller one that you crank. And I'm sure it's just that I'm not placing the fabric straight on. But I love my AccuQuilt. And um, yeah, I wouldn't go overboard, but a few, a few unique ones maybe that you don't have. Uh, certainly, actually, you know what I've been wanting to do for the longest time is, and I've seen people do it, is combine my love of string quilting with then cutting using the AccuQuilt to cut out a good shape. So that clamshell die often looks fun. I think if I made lots of strips and then cut out clamshells, that might be one that would work. What was the other one? Maybe Drunkard's Path. So maybe something with the curve might be fun to play with. Jean, she says, what's in a name? Oh, she is exploring what's in a name. Was that with respect to why do we quilt? Maureen, so I don't know what that one was about. A name can be everything or nothing. <laughs> Yes, I've lost it. Oh, <laughs> you know why? Because it's the witching hour. It's just 9 o'clock. I can't believe it. Give me one more minute. I want to make sure I say hi to everyone who's out there. Maureen. Kelly Draves. Hi, from Wisconsin. She says, after having met you at Missouri Star Quilt Retreat February, I finished my cat quilt and gifted the picture attached. Oh, this is awesome. Kelly, thank you for sending this. 
you guys should have seen this in person. The, the picture here doesn't do it justice. It was really bright and beautiful, but that's okay. It is, I hope you can see this. Each one, each cat motif was different. Love it. Oh, and I'm so glad you're out there. I really enjoyed meeting you. Your, your blue quilt was amazing. Ah, and I have a question here. What's the design wall made from? I used the back of a plastic tablecloth. And to tell you the truth, it's draping a little bit. You might see it's it's stretched, so it's not working great right now. I need to get it more firmly secured to my wall. But that's all it is. It's thumb tacked up. And Minister, hi. Can't wait to get home and watch your show. Kids are still here, so still sewing hexes between family trips to see extended family. Five more flowers made, says Patty. Thanks for your show and say hi to the whole game. Patty in warm Texas, where the blue bonnets are going to bloom soon. And with that, I just want to thank everyone for joining me tonight. Once again, you've made my Friday night. You've made my week. Look at what we've gotten done. I hope you have are feeling accomplished or rested or um, content. Looking forward to the weekend. Be around people that you enjoy and be creative. And thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you next, next Friday night on Fibercast. Bye, everyone. Happy Easter.